Hey guys, welcome to Explain and Draw, a new thing I just started. Let me know if you like it. Let's get to the video. Today I'll be explaining and drawing about the new, nah, new, not new game, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. One of my favorite games I've ever played. I've completed the whole game, achieved all the achievements, all the challenges, and I've played the whole game for over 400 hours, so yeah. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth is a randomly generated action RPG shooter, which means that Every game you play is randomly generated and full of new things you haven't seen or tried or played before. You fight in different dungeons with different bosses and creatures. In each level there is a new difficulty. It gets more and more difficult with new monsters and more secrets to discover. You can find items which will give your character, Isaac, powers uh, such as flight, laser eyes, or just increase your damage. All the items has, have their own special abilities and own synergies with other items. That's one of the main reasons why I enjoy this game so much because of all the variables, all the different things uh, that can happen af even after fully completing the whole game still every game I play is different than the one I played before so here you have a sped up run I fully finished from the first to the last boss, the last possible boss. And yeah, let's get to the drawing and the story of the game. Now, the story is a little bit complicated. So you're playing as Isaac, or as one of his forms. There are multiple characters, but the main character is Isaac. And what you're doing, trying to do as Isaac is run away from your mother. Your mother uh, wants to kill you. And why you ask? Well, she wants to do it because God asked her to do so. Yeah, God. So you, as Isaac, crawl down into a dark abyss of your basement which somehow is filled with dark creatures all referring to the faith. So your mom is a very religious person and really wants to prove to the Lord how much she loves him. And he answers her prayers. First he asks her, hey, you must cleanse your son from his sins. You must free him and uh, make sure he is a good kid or a good boy. And so she removes all his stuff, all his toys, everything he has and he gets locked up in his room. But that's not enough. The, the God or the Lord asks her to truly show your love for me sacrifice your own son so she goes to the kitchen and grabs a knife and goes to Isaac's room Isaac see, sees what's happening and the only thing he can do is crawl into the trapdoor on the floor in his room and try to run away. 
So the whole game is a little bit dark and just, yeah, a little bit de depressed when when referring to faith and religion. It's something that I don't really mind, but may, some people may offend. But I don't really mind the whole story behind it. I enjoy the game nevertheless. I love the art style because it's so unique. I haven't have not really seen anything like it before. It's disgusting and cool at the same time. So yeah. That's basically Binding of Isaac. I can truly refer you. It's I still play it sometimes and it's just pretty cool. You can have a look if you want, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time. you guys for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for the next video, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.